Well, hello there and welcome here to my place today. Um, it's my Sunday Bible reading. Uh, so today I am reading Hebrews chapter 6 with you guys. And before I get into the Bible reading, um, I ask that you all please pray for my Uncle Harold. Um, he's, he had a stroke and he's in like, he's been in a hospital and ICU for a couple of weeks now. So I just ask that you keep him in my thoughts and prayers and keep my aunt strong as she's... Um, as she's dealing with her husband being in there and um some of my family came in from out of town to be with him so just keep in mind his name is harold simmons um so please keep him in your prayers as i um read this bible to you guys so i wanted to say that but now let's get on we're going to get on to hebrews chapter six i'm wearing different glasses today i got like four pairs of these glasses all right where are we therefore leaving the principles of the Christ, let us go on unto perfect nation, not laying again the foundation from dead works and faith towards God of baptism and of laying on the laying on of hands and it and of rescue nations of the dead and of internal judgment and this will oh, sorry and this will we do if god permit for it is impossible for those who were once and have tasted of the heavenly gifts and were made of the holy ghost and have tasted the good words of God and the power of the word come to come if they shall fall away to renew them again until re seeing they to themselves the son of God afresh and put him to an open shame for the earth which drinketh in the rain that commence upon it and bright forth herbs meet for them by whom is who it is dressed receive blessings from God but that which beareth thorns and bribes it's it's rejected and it's night unto cursing who in is to be burnt but beloved we are persecuted better things of you and things that accompany salvation through we speak for God is not unrighteousness to forget your works and labor of loving which ye has true to war him his name in that ye have mister misunderstood to the saint and do minister and we desire that every one of you do true the same To the full of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful but followers of them who thought faith and patience the promises. For when God made promises, Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely bless, I will bless thee and multiply, I will multiply thee. And so after he had he the promise for men swear by the greater and 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 oat for confirmation. I can't pronounce some of these words. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just having trouble today. Is to them an end of all stripes. Wherein God's willing more to shrew unto the hearers of promise of his counsel confirmed by it and that by two things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong counsel connection who have fled for 
referred to lay hold unto hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which eternals into the within the veils, within the is for us eternal, even Jesus made high priest forever and ever the order. And that will complete chapter Hebrews chapter seven. Hopefully I can read chapter eight. I I ha I took some a couple of weeks off from this a week or two because I've been busy like these last couple of weeks I've just been busy with family activities and stuff like that. So um I'm glad to be back with you guys and I'm glad to read and hopefully I'll be back on here again to read the Wednesday's reading, which is Revelation still, I believe. But anyway, um, keep my Uncle Harold Simmons in your prayers if you could. And um, I'll say a prayer myself, and then we can get off here. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer. I thank you for another day of life. I thank you for another day of my kid's life, my grandkid's life. I just thank you for this beautiful world you've given us. And I thank you for letting your son, Jesus Christ, die on a cross. Because if it wasn't for that, none of us wouldn't have an opportunity to go to heaven and spend eternal with you, Heavenly Father. I thank you so much for that. And I dear Heavenly Father, please help my Uncle Harold recover. I know he's going through a lot, and please keep the family strong, including myself, as he's going through this difficult time, Heavenly Father. And I say all this in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you all like these Bible readings. If you do, please feel free to give me a like. I'm inside today because it's really hot outside. But anyway, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you ain't already. And please hit the notification bell so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. It does help out with the channel. And I would surely appreciate each and every one of you for doing that. Um, August 21st, my year anniversary. I'll be announcing a giveaway at that point. But anyway, till next time, stay safe, stay blessed, goodbye. And bring your fans if you can.